All right, I'm now here at the Umarex booth with my man Richard Turner, who is by far the most excited human about the world of air guns in this entire Vegas show. Richard, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, right? It's good you're to see you. A, you're setting an expectation for me, right? It here. doesn't take much. Very little, very little. You, I always love coming by the booth here because I, because you always have something new to talk to me about, and you all, you're always so passionate about it, and I love that because I'm passionate yeah. about what I do. I know the viewers out there; they get passionate about the things they have. Absolutely. Last year, we were talking about some really cool guns you guys had out, but Absolutely. this year, it's like you guys have taken it to a whole new level. Well, I promise you, I'm not going to let you down for this year. Yes. Uh, 2015, we're going to top 2014. All right. Trust me, a new product. So. Okay, so what do, we, what do we got? I tell you, one of the most exciting things we've got, and this is what everyone's coming in, is this year we're introducing a single action, the first action pistol, CO2 powered BB pistol, but it's a single action, the new Colt Peacemaker 45. And what we did, the objective here is to be 100% realistic because, you know, this is what they call, this was the gun that won the West. Yeah. It changed things. And so it's so appealing to uh, fans of Colt, sure. fans of the period, historians mm -hmm. who would love to own one, but man, price just keeps them from being able to. Yeah. I mean, what are we looking at for this real gun? Well, what are we talking for? For the real gun, and you want something? You're you're in the 1800s. Yeah. You know, if you want and to, a historical piece, then looks historical. No telling. You know, you're out there bidding on it and looking at different sites. And you don't want to shoot that them. gun anyway. Absolutely, absolutely not. You probably want to put that in a safe. Yeah. And hide it. <laughs> right. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to feel the heft of that. Oh my yeah. gosh! Just like that's... the real thing. Look at that. Never. Right, I wasn't. A, a I was. Training. I wouldn't have won the Wild West. Yes. Okay, so this this feels real. It has that. Absolutely, absolutely. And so what we do, it's a traditional single action here. You know, so to fire it, you're gonna have to pull that hammer back. Now, the nice thing about this is, true to the realism, our loading port, we go to the half cock position. Yeah. We actually eject the cartridges here. Now the what? BB goes in the end of the cartridge and you'll see, yeah, it's basically a tube. So it allows when you fire the discharge of air, through there, straight through to project that BB out the end of the barrel. And so inside this is actually the barrel that's inside. So yeah. it really is two barrels in one in here. So you go know that cartridge loads back in. And then you're good to go. Oh yeah. man. Make it a little bit easier as usual. Our CO2 is inside uh -huh. back here. It's inside the grip of the handle. And so we do all the engineering to be able to work. Again, what we're trying to do is start. We want it to be a true to the real the original real gun as best we can. So all our engineering for the airflow is all worked up inside the, the frame back here. Built-in wrench, so as we drop our CO2 in, we just screw it, we there pressurize that gun, and then you get it. And so if this is a chance to own a piece of history affordably, you're probably about a 129 retail price point. So you get to own one of the most famous guns and shoot it affordably in the backyard. That's great. So it's got the weight, it's got the size, it's got the handle. I, I never would have known that the car, the air cartridge went in the handle because yeah. usually the handles are a little loose sometimes on some of these guns. But this is like, I mean, this is the real deal. I never would have known. And then it's got, wow. I mean, you can, you know, you get Absolutely. the whole right. Trust I mean, me. you can I, do. I'm gonna you, I can't confirm or deny that that's but the fan in that gun has happened in practice and, and some of the evaluations. Just, 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 just. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, it doesn't get much better than this. Actually, it does. Of course, it does. So, for, <laughs> for something for Shot Show this year, we want to do something a little. Different. Well, here, let me just let me and, just uh, tuck this one here. Okay. Look at that. All right. We're ready for the movies. I'm good to as go. As usual. I'm good to go. But for Shot Show this year, we're doing something a little bit different. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in your hometown of Fort Smith, it's going to be the new 50,000. Uh, or no, it's going to be a 20,000 square foot dedicated museum to the U.S. Marshals, the first federal law enforcement agency in the history of our country. Really? Yeah, and so because we're a Fort Smith company and, and the U.S. Marshals is going to be based in Fort Smith, the museum, we want to do something really unique. So we created and been working for quite a, quite a bit of time to develop a limited edition U.S. Marshals Museum commemorative peacemaker. Wow. And so this is what, and we're displaying it here at SHOT Show, only 500 pieces okay. available. And by, guess what? They sold out within four hours of the first Before shot. Before I show. even got here? Before you even got here. Dad, come it. So that's just, hey, that's what happens when you got to make this the first place you come. <laughs> it's true. Really early on. That's now, true. Now, what we've done is, the objective is to, to really create a historical piece mm -hmm. of something you would have seen uh, when, when the marshals were so prevalent in Fort Smith and they were going out after criminals in the territories. Yeah. So what we've done is we create a weathered edition. Now, we hand weather this process to give an aging look. So this gun looks like it's been in and out of a holster sure. for many years of use. Again, the same features in here uh, with the single action. Uh, we've done a uh, wood 
faux grip in here to where it looks. And again, you'll see a U.S. Marshals um, medallion oh, that's, that's unique great. to this gun that is in there. Look at that. <laughs> And Man, you know, you know when you look at this, they're they're fans of Colt, they're fans of the U.S. Marshals, they're fans of the history and the, the period piece. There, this is to get a chance to own a piece of history and to own a commemorative product out there. Then really, really expresses what was going on at that time in the world with firearms. Yeah. This is gorgeous, man. And, and again, same weight. The look is 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 so real. Absolutely. I mean, if, if you're a fan of guns, you're a fan of that period. If you're a fan, really, of anything that that uh, revolves around firearms, this is this is cool. Absolutely. This is cool. Absolutely. And the fact that you can go outside in your backyard, throw some cans around, and shoot this thing for as long as you can, you know, as long as you, you can pull at, the trigger. When when you look at this, you're probably two to three cents a shot. Between, yeah. Between the BBs, between the CO2 costs, about two to three cents a shot. How inexpensive it is to have a lot of fun in the backyard. So realistic. Yeah. You guys dominate these replica guns. Well, it's always fun at SHOT Show because we have so many people who are appreciative of this type of product yeah. and, and are really excited about it. And you know, this is the second year. We had folks coming in going, hey, what's the new commemorative gun? What's the new thing y'all did this year? Yeah. And so, you know, of course, the problem with that is 2016, we're going to have to try to top it. <laughs> So we'll see. I'll say this: there's things on the drawing board. I'm sure you'll come up with something. We were working on. It. All right, so all right, so this this will go good. So right here, and that's what's 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 next? What's next? Well, I tell you this: we've relooked at how the young shooter market is going to be done and create a new air rifle for them that we're extremely excited about. So we tight walk over and take a look at that. I'd love to. Let's mosey.